previous videos, we visited Gurchak and Dalian on the day trips from Fiat here. And today we visit two more interesting places, beautiful Blue Lagoon Aludenis and Ghost Town Koi Koi. As usual, we are traveling from Fiat here by Dolmush, which is a minivan, a convenient and expensive public transport in Turkey. Meaning Dead Sea in Turkish, Aludenis is a village and a beach resort lies 12 km south of Fethiye and neighboring the tranquil Blue Lagoon. The lagoon is renowned for its perfect stillness even during the storms. The first time we came to Aludenis was around Christmas and the weather was surprisingly warm around 23 degrees. There was no rows of sunbeds and we almost had the beach to ourselves. Just a few other people fishing and a couple of ladies actually in bikinis sunbathing. I was not really prepared for the beach and had the jeans on. If anyone told me I would be stood on the beach with my feet in the water in the late December, I would have laughed at them. There is a small chill cafe on the beach serving some snacks and drinks and it's a nice spot to enjoy the views. Babadak Cable Car, also known as Babadak Teleferik, is a new attraction on Uludenis. Opened only about two years ago, it's definitely the best and the most scenic way to get to the top of Babadak Mountain and soak in the view of the turquoise coast and the mountains. Babadak is a part of the Taurus range that goes across southern Turkey. What makes Babadak itself so unique? is that it rises directly from the beach of Aludenis to a summit of almost 2,000 meters above sea level. The cable car takes you to several levels, offering the different experiences. In our case, the only level of 1,200 meters was open due to weather conditions. It features an open-air concert hall, a playground, viewing platforms, and a restaurant with panoramic views, that were covered by clouds at that moment. Kayuko Abandoned Village is situated between Aludenis and Fethiye, and it's a ghost town with over 500 abandoned buildings. The town remains a haunting reminder of tragic events that transpired throughout the country a century ago. The town dates back to around 3000 BC, when it was Carmelesus and part of Lycian civilization. During the Ottoman Empire, it was renamed into Libisi and became home to around 10,000 people, including Anatolian Muslims and Greek Orthodox Christians, but in a thriving and harmonious community. In the last century, Kayakoi was forcefully abandoned at the end of the Greek-Turkish War, when population exchange meant that Muslim and Christian were exchanged between Greece and Turkey, so that each country could claim one major religion in the path towards ethnic and national homogeneity. Back then, the former residents of Levisi arrived in Greece and soon settled in the area around 40 kilometers from Athens that reminded them the most of their former home. The newly arrived Muslims from Greece, however, didn't inhabit Kayakoi because of its hillside location, which they found too remote. Today, Kayakoi Ghost Town in Turkey was recognized as one of the world's top 10 ghost towns, according to National Geographic.
Levisi Garden or Lebesas is one of the best restaurants I visited in Turkey. It was once the house of a prosperous Greek merchant and is now a fine restaurant specializing in steak, an ultra tender lamb marinated in red wine and slow cooked in 400 years old oven. The wine cellar has more than 10,000 bottles including a good selection of Turkish wines. It still has the ambience of the previous centuries along with the good food and service. Restaurant is open for the breakfast as well.